What's going on guys, this is Burrs. I want to talk to you today about the Badger Ordnance Recon Uni Mount. This is their mount, which I would just call it as SPR mount. You have the cantilever out the front, so you can put the mount just on the, the lower receiver, so you're not touching the, the rail here, and getting any accuracies and such. So it's definitely an SPR mount. And what you're getting with Badger Ordnance is made in the USA. They have a humongously proven track record with precision rifles and making parts that kick ass. And you're getting a lifetime part, you know, something that you can rely on, rely on throughout the life of uh, your rifle or rifles. So you've seen this SPR rifle go through a lot of iterations of different parts. You know, at one point in the beginning, I was using an Aero Precision lightweight mount. It's a great mount, but if you're looking for something that's a little more reliable as far as longevity goes, or maybe just a little more reliable, uh, you know, on this mount, I said that 99% of the people who are going to buy this mount, you know, a lot of people say, oh, well, that's not, it's not going to work on the battlefield. Well, 99% of people who buy this aren't going to really be on the battlefield, so it's going to work for them. Um, if you're looking for something that can go in the battlefield and you don't have to worry about it, this Badger Ordnance mount is that. So what you're looking at is about seven and a half ounces for this mount. I've used this for probably close to, I don't know, eight months. Have uh, 1,500 rounds through it, maybe a little bit more than that. Uh, match rounds, if you guys have seen the accuracy testing I've done with ammo. And I really like this mount, even though it is a little bit heavier than that lightweight mount that I just showed you. Uh, you're looking at about three and a half ounces, uh, you know, heavier. Uh, this mount right here is the mount I would recommend for any new SPR build. I did a video probably a few months back talking about how to mount uh, scope rings and, uh, you know, the such. And putting this on is, is really easy. You know, on the previous one, you kind of do the exact same thing, but you can see it's not as robust as, you know, this mounting solution is. You put it on, you kind of finger tight it, and you keep moving it around and getting it finger tight, get all that wobble out of it, get it all the way finger tight. Then all you do is you just move this nut a quarter of a turn, and you're good to go. Uh, there's a pound foot um, equivalent, which might be, I think, 65. I'm not sure what it is off the top of my head, but Badger Ordnance has that in the instructions, but you can also just move it a quarter turn after you get it nice and snug, finger tight, and it's gonna stay on there. I had mine turned to in line with um, the edge here. As you can see, uh, these have not come loose. Um, there's nothing, you know, that's, uh, that's wrong with it as far as using it through 1500 rounds of vibration, etc. Haven't come loose, uh, I didn't expect it to. And when you look on the top here, you can see that it has the, uh, the four for the uh, scope rings there. It has the four on each um, each ring. So you just put those down and you kind of al alternately go around and, and tighten it down. You want to have the exact same, at least, you know, at least you try to have the exact same opening size on each um, side. So right here, you want to have that gap relatively identical on each side. Uh, you put it down, you get the uh, scope mount, you're good to go. Everyone knows how to do that. If you don't, there's tons of videos out there. I think I have a few on them. Um, but let's get down to talking about the actual mount itself. So what do you need when you, uh, you want to get accuracy, you want to get precision? You need rigidity, you need uh, structure, you don't want anything to be wobbly, you don't want uh, anything really to get in the way of your scope and your, um, you know, your, your sight being precise and being um, you know, not moving. Uh, when you get something like this, sure, like this Aero Precision lightweight mount, I think it's like three ounces, um, you can see the scope rings there and how thick they are. If you compare that to the Badger, as you can see here on the Badger, and I've taken video in the past of uh, these scope rings, you can see that it's much thicker. So you're going to get a mount that um, is rigidity-wise going to be you know, more consistent. And that's what you want in a uh, precision rifle. You want consistency. So you're getting a thicker material. This is made out of 6061 aluminum, and it's machined down to uh, to where they want. You know what Badger's done here is even though they have taken some weight out of this, you can see some cuts inside there to take some weight out. Uh, they've left it, you know, robust enough, and uh, so that you have the consistency when you're when you're taking your shots. You don't have to worry about anything, you know, moving around or. If you drop this accidentally, you don't have to worry about the mount bending or anything. Whereas if you have something like this that has a little bit thinner and everything's cut out and lighten, lightening out, uh, even on the uh, cantilever here, you can have a much more, uh, much more possibility of this bending uh, than this right here. You're looking at seven and a half ounces, and when you're talking about um, you know the height of this, this is 1.54 inches high as far as the rings go. Uh, this one right here, which I reviewed in the past, is 1.5. So you're not looking at too much uh, higher than that. 
um, than what this one is, which a lot of people like. Um, you know, 1.54 inches is what's going to be in line for a lot of nighttime devices, uh, a lot of optics, you know, night optics. That's one reason they did it. But it's also good for, um, you know, prone shooting, you're going to have a little bit lower, which is going to be, you know, really good. But if you're doing kneeling or standing shooting, having a little bit higher of a amount, it's going to assist you a little bit more. I haven't found any problem with using this mount in a, uh, a prone position or anything like that personally. It could be my body type and everybody's body type is different. Uh, Badger does make some other uh, mounts, some other uni mounts, which are a little bit shorter as far as the rings go. So whatever you're looking to do, they make uni mounts that um, you know fit that need. So if you don't want the 1.54 recon mount like this one uh, that I have, they also have other ones as well. You know, I've been able to consistently hit um, you know three quarter MOA and lower um, you know, with this mount. Um, I feel as though this mount gives me better uh, accuracy than what this does, uh, just given the fact that it's a much more stable platform to put my scope on than what this Aero Precision is. You know, inherently, you can see here, this isn't a QD mount, it's not a quick detach type of mount. If you have a setup of an SPR like I do and you have the side RMR, it's not that big a deal to have a QD mount. Um, so that's the one reason I don't have one um, because I have the RMR on the side. Um, so if you're looking to do a QD mount, um, but overall, I've really enjoyed this. Like I said, it's been very accurate, very reliable. Um, it's something that you're gonna buy and you're gonna transport from different guns if you're if you're building different guns. Uh, for me personally, I build one gun for a purpose. I don't have a zillion guns. This is my SPR Precision AR, and um, you know that's what I'm gonna have on it, which is this Badger Ordnance. So I'm gonna rock this for a while. I really enjoy it. I really see no need to uh, put any other different mount on. I've tried to really ultra lightweight mounts. I tried this one, which is kind of moderate. It's kind of in the middle. Uh, there's obviously heavier mounts out there. And uh, you know, I've really come to love this one and it's the one I'm gonna run for a while. You know, as you can see, this has the cantilever design, which I alluded to earlier. And what that does is when you're setting up a, a SPR or uh, pretty much any kind of uh, you know, precision rifle, you don't wanna have your mount on the rail. The rail will move slightly uh, you could get a, smite, a slight you know, movement on that, which would throw off your scope. So what you want to do with scopes on an SPR, DMR, those kind of builds, is you want to have that on your uh, lower receiver. Your lower receiver is um, you know, stable, it's not going to move, whereas your rail could possibly move. So what the cantilever design does is, you know, it only comes out to here, and it can, can, cantilevers out the front. You know, it gets pushed out the front, so you can move that scope up, without having the ring right here on uh, on your rail. So it puts the, the uh, rings back here, the connection points back here. So, you know, doing this, and a lot of people do it, just like this Aero Precision kind of comes out the front. Um, you know, this one does the exact same thing, just more robust in nature. So if you guys have any questions or anything, go and let me know. If you guys do have Badger Ordnance stuff, uh, including this uh, mount, go ahead and put it in the comments down below, or better yet, make a video about it. And until next time, later. The ones that are just behind us, okay. not the ones that are over here. Okay.